So <laughs> I'll give you some space to kind of monologue through your journey, journey sure. a little bit. Uh, Sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll try and give the spark notes version. Basically the way that my career has evolved is I've followed open doors as well as my passion kind of at the same time. So I went into engineering for college because I was passionate about math and I was passionate about science and engineering is a mix. of It's a two. good start. So <laughs> that was when I did engineering. Um, and then I did mechanical because it seemed to be the most flexible. Um, lots of what I was interested in, but really just kept my doors open. I specialized in biomechanics because I love the human body, fascinated with how it moves. I was actually choosing between engineering and kinesiology initially, so very passionate about the human body. And prosthetics is the natural extension of that, right? You're literally creating and augmenting human motion, which I thought was fascinating. So I got to work on a project as my capstone in my fourth year which was for an orthosis. So it was an ankle foot orthosis, kind of went up the calf muscle and on the foot um, to help a five-year-old girl move. And that was extremely rewarding, as you can imagine. So I didn't end up pursuing prosthetics in my master's. I still wanted to do research. I thought I would do some kind of medical device design. So I did a master's of biomedical engineering, focused on wrist research and wrist implants. And then at the end of that, there was an opportunity that came up for this medical innovation fellowship. And it's based on Stanford's biodesign program. So it's 10 months. They bring engineers, scientists, and doctors together to innovate within medicine. And I didn't know if I wanted to start a company or not, but I thought that this was a pretty cool, <laughs> pretty low risk way to try it out, right? It's only 10 mm -hmm. months. Like everybody's got 10 months to yeah. spare. Um, so, so I took a pause. I did this program. Um, and throughout the program, because it's focused on medical innovation, you get to interview a bunch of doctors. And so we interviewed, you know, doctors, nurses, clinicians in any kind of field you can think of from physiotherapy to diabetes to like brain surgery. We did kind of a little bit of everything. And we were recording all of these different problems and could we solve them? What could possible solutions be? And so we came at it from a very like business, almost analytical perspective. Mm -hmm where we looked at this list and I was already a little bit biased because I was passionate about prosthetics, but we looked at the list and we knocked off the ones that we weren't passionate about, or we didn't know anything about how to solve. And as we narrowed it down, we then started using a lot of business metrics to narrow it down. Like, is this actually a big problem? Is this, you know, one surgeon finds it an issue once a year, or this is millions of people around the world have this problem, which was the case for yes. 